my name is Dawn Matthews and with me in studio is Salai. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the series on computer hardware. At the moment, many homes have a variety of different appliances, computers, TVs, video machines, DVD players, hi-fis, washing machines and fridges. Imagine what it would be like if all these things could be connected together. Well, if our appliances could talk to each other using electronic signals, your fridge would be able to tell your computer to order milk, your computer could tell your hi-fi which music to play, and your hi-fi could turn on the kettle when the music was finished. In the future, all this will probably be possible. Our households will be one big network of intelligent equipment. Even today, things are pretty advanced. You can get a fridge with an internet connection and you can plug your computer into a TV or a hi-fi. But why would you want to plug a computer into your TV? Well, if the computer was connected to a TV, you could use the TV screen to view information stored on computer. And if you connect your computer to a hi-fi, you could listen to music stored on a computer through your hi-fi speakers. Well, sounds pretty cool, but is it hard to set up? No, it's actually very easy. You just need to get the right add-on cards for your computer. And what is an add-on card? Good question. <laughs> By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain what an add-on card is, name different add-on cards, and say what they're used for. So what is an add-on card? Well, that concept has two parts. First, let's think about the meaning of add-on. Then we will discuss what a card is. Remember in a previous lesson we talked about a modem? I remember we needed a modem to connect to the internet. That's right. Mm. But a modem is not an essential part of the computer because the computer will still run without one. In this sense, a modem is what we call an add-on component. The modem that we saw in the lesson was external and plugged into a port on the outside of the computer. In that same lesson, we also mentioned an internal modem which does the same job and is therefore also an add-on component. The internal modem is in the form of a card, called an add-on card, which plugs directly into the motherboard. You get other kinds of add-on cards for different purposes. So, let's see what add-on cards you will need to connect your computer to your TV and Hi-Fi. The first thing you need is an add-on card called a TV card. This is the card that lets you receive a TV signal on your PC. Having a TV card in a computer is useful because it makes it possible for you to watch TV channels on your computer monitor and to record what is being viewed onto your hard drive. This recorded material can then be burned onto CD or DVD if you have the right drives and software. You can also send a picture from your computer monitor onto your TV screen. Now let's have a look at how a TV card is installed into a computer. Is it the same as installing a modem card? Yes, it's exactly the same and it's also the same for other add-on cards, so watch carefully. This is what a TV card looks like. And this is the motherboard. If you look at the motherboard, you will notice two kinds of slots. These are PCI and these are ISA slots. Each card has a pattern of pins which allows it to fit only one of these. So which one does this TV card go into? Well, if you look at the TV card, you will see that it will only fit into one of these PCI slots, like this. When you buy any add-on card, you must make sure that the card has the correct pattern of pins to plug into a slot that is available on the motherboard. Now that we have installed the TV card into the computer, we have to set up a few things to make the card work. The next important thing we need to do is install a piece of software called a driver. Each device that is added onto your computer needs its own driver. Computer drivers are special pieces of software that tell your computer how each device works. Can you think of any other devices that would need a driver? Well, besides the modem and the TV card, maybe the printer would. Yes, you're right. A printer would. And if your computer was connected to other computers, the network card would also need a driver. So let's load the driver for our TV card onto the computer. 
Your TV card should come with its own driver on a CD or stiffy disc. After the card is plugged into the motherboard, insert the disc into the computer and follow the instructions. Now that's done, plug the TV aerial cable into the port at the back of the card. Now we're ready to watch TV. Hmm. Well, it's pretty cool, but the sound isn't that great. Is there anything we can do to improve the sound? Yes, we can. Any sound that you hear from your computer is made with a sound card. This is another useful add-on card that you might want to install. Before the arrival of the sound card, PCs could only make little beeps from a tiny speaker built into the motherboard, but not for long. In the late 1980s, sound cards were introduced and this took PCs to a whole new level. The sound card lets your computer play music and sound effects, just like a CD player. It also lets you plug external speakers into your computer so you can play the sounds as loud as you like. Sound cards even have a microphone input, so you can send sounds into your computer and then record them onto the hard drive. Sound cards really got started in 1989 when a company called Creative Labs introduced the Sound Blaster card. The Sound Blaster was so popular that it has become a standard add-on card in many computers. Other companies have used this technology in their own sound cards. Most sound cards today also plug into a PCI slot on the motherboard. Some motherboards even have a sound card built into the actual board so that you do not need to add another card to the system. If you have really fancy sound equipment, like in an audio suite or a music studio, you might need to get a special sound card, like a MIDI card. A MIDI card looks like this. Even though a MIDI card is a sophisticated add-on card, it's easy to install. Just follow the same steps we use to install our TV card. Now, we have said that all devices added to your computer need a driver. Do you remember what a driver is? A driver is the software that tells a computer how the new device works. A MIDI card is no different and we have to install a driver before we can use the card. Mm. So with a sound card, can I listen to CDs on my computer? For sure. You just need a CD drive and the right software. And can I record sounds onto my computer? <laughs> yes, you just need a device to capture the sound like a microphone. Mm, and can I play sounds on external speakers like on my hi-fi? Yes, you can. You can connect your computer to almost any pair of speakers if you have the right adapters. And if you have a TV card and a sound card, you can even connect to radio stations using your computer. Whoa, oh, that means I can use my computer as a TV, a hi-fi and a radio all in one. That's right. Computers are slowly taking over the jobs usually done by other machines. They're definitely becoming part of our everyday lives. Okay, now let's quickly recap. Do you know what add-on cards a computer needs to pick up a TV signal and to playback sound? Yes, we need a TV card and a sound card. <laughs> Good. Now let's have a look at an exciting new TV channel that is using this technology to broadcast their programs. At the moment, you're watching the Mindset Learn channel on Satellite TV. But did you know that the Mindset Network also produces other channels which are sent straight onto computers around the country? One of these channels is the Mindset Health Channel. This is a channel for nurses and other healthcare workers. It carries important educational messages and other interesting information. But what is really special about this channel is the way that you watch it. This is how it works. First, the Health Channel's programs are digitized and sent out as data files via satellite. These data files are then received by special satellite dishes which are connected to computers. Once they have been downloaded, the data files are saved directly onto the hard drive of the computer and converted into movie files. People can then use the video and sound cards in the computer to watch the movie files whenever they want to. This kind of broadcasting is called Video On Demand or VOD. Let's find out some more about VOD and the health channel from the experts at Mindset. Here at Mindset, we have the health channel and we use a technology called data casting. 
data casting is a combination of two existing technologies. One of them is the internet and one of them is broadcasting. Data casting is the combination of IP protocol, internet protocol, in the broadcasting technology, which enables us to send large pictures and data to computers. The data is stored as videos and programs on the computer hard disk and is available to users effectively on demand, hence the video on demand term. We use this application to provide certain educational content which is installed at our clinics, for instance things like AIDS education, the ability to provide both web information and video information for our healthcare workers to access at their convenience. This is an example of video on demand. Here you have a TV channel playing, but ideally you want to be able to stop the video and play it on demand. So here we can stop the video, go back to a menu, and select another video that we might want to play, once again on demand. So, you can see that computers are even changing the way we watch television. And the future is going to be full of new technology which will change the way we live. For example, there's the internet fridge. This clever kitchen helper lets you communicate by email and video mail with its built-in camera and microphone. It knows when your food is going off, it tells you when you are about to run out of milk and can order fresh milk from the shops when you have finished the carton. It even keeps food cold. Are there any other interesting computerized home appliances? <laughs> Every week there are new technological breakthroughs and one that I really like is Calvinator's washi talkie. Uh, let me see, um, it's a talking washing machine? <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> but this machine is so clever that even Ripley's Believe It or Not calls it a wonder product. The washi talkie has high-tech microprocessors and a voice synthesizer so it can tell you how to wash your clothes perfectly. It can also sense the weight of the load and automatically decides on the right wash program, water level and cycle time. It sounds like the kind of washing machine that dreams are made of. <laughs> now for your task. Write a short explanation of what an add-on card is. Find out, with the help of your teacher, what type of computer you have at your school and what add-on cards have been installed. Finally, do some research to find out what other add-on cards are available. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to visit our website for more information. Join us next time for our final lesson on computer hardware, where we will be playing a great revision game. See you then. Bye. Bye.